Okay, so you might notice a few things being different. One, I'm outside, uh, and two, all my hair's gone. So, which kind of brings me to today's topic. So, yeah, I guess you cut my hair. My 16, almost 17 year old sister. I didn't have to pay shit for this. And it's the best haircut I've gotten every summer. I always get a hair, get all my hair chopped off because I have thick curly hair and it's hot. <laughs> So I always get cut into a nice little pixie. Now, I've been doing this since I was 12. And I'm 21 now, so that's almost 10 years I've been doing this. So I've gotten some good experiences and some bad experiences getting my hair cut. So, yeah. But I have to say, my sister has done the best job out of almost every... There's one or two hairdressers that did a better job, like, as good or better. But overall, she did a fantastic job cutting my hair. And that's kind of sad that she only has experience cutting guys' hair with a, an electric razor. And she did a better job than people who do it for a living and have been doing it for years. And then that brings me on to the topic of self-taught people. Because there are those who have, you know, talents, abilities, and traits and everything else. But they are self-taught, so they don't have the credentials, but they have the ability. So they can't use that to get a job anywhere or do anything like that. Even though they're very qualified, they just don't have it on paper that they are qualified. So they don't get the job, even if they are better than the person that got hired because they have the qualifications. And so that can that's kind of really annoying, but the thing is too, is how do you prove that they're qualified? What I think would be awesome is if you had something the way they have the GED for high schools, uh, for high school degrees. You can basically just take a test or just show some, instead of an interview saying, okay, these are my written down qualifications and everything else, they should have a trial day where they have you try out stuff. And especially for things like hair cutting, you know, we cut the hair of your family, take pictures and say, hey, look, I did this. Because I went, I have thick curly hair and I went from being shoulder length all the way up to a pixie cut and my sister did that really well. And it's really comfy and I love it. So, because a lot of things with me is that I don't have the education for it, but I'm really good at something. So, but it doesn't mean a whole heck of a lot on a resume. It's not until they actually see me in action that they're like, oh, wow, it's amazing and everything else. So, I think that, you know, there should be some sort of tests you can take to uh, that would work as a qualification. Because, I mean, if you're already able to do something, because especially in the age of information, you can get so much knowledge online that like for free you don't have to pay especially with the tuition rates go out through the roof i mean if you can learn all the skills that someone who was paying thousands of dollars to go to school for if you can learn it for free then why not learn it for free so i think that there should be you know tests available or like ways to get a qualification for something without having to go and pay thousands of dollars to go to a school for several years and everything else, especially if you're just naturally gifted at it or you can just, you know, do it. Because the thing is too is that you also need connection either need if you don't have the qualifications, you need connections. And not everyone has that because they just don't have because oftentimes they start with connections from their family. But if your family has no sort of connectivity in the field you're going in like my mom's works in the government with history of accounting and biochem my dad's in the air force with um uh and uh, as an engineer and you know i'm not in hairdressing or anything like that either and is my brother no one in our family is except for my sister but she's fantastic at, at it luckily she got uh connections with the co-op she did at a hair salon she now works at that hair salon washing hair it's not cutting hair but you know it's it's getting her in there um but yeah like except she really lucked out there but me i have talents when it comes to you know reorganizing and stuff because my mom uh, is dealing with my my stepdad right now is ha we're dealing with him having a hoarding problem and so i'm cleaning up and organizing their uh basement and um you know i'm doing a fantastic job at it my mom's all impressed and everything else except if I were to, she's like, you know, some people can do that for a living, but they need some sort of qualification to do it for a living, which I don't have. So I'm like, that. I don't mind doing that. I like, uh, you know, I like the hard physical labor over sitting at a desk all day. 
because, you know, it makes me feel like I'm being more productive. But then there's also the way, the thing that's in the way is that I'm a woman for that kind of hard physical labor jobs don't go to women typically because women are weak and delicate. Like the sexism I've experienced most is people think I'm weak and delicate. Even with the, this, we're giving away all this wood that my stepdad had hoarded, like way too much for any one person to use ever. Cause he would just, every time he gets, he just constantly be getting wood. So I, I took it all out of the basement, all up into the backyard. About half of it's left here. You can see all the wood. And people have been, we've been uh, giving it away for free and people have been coming by and everything else. And I'm like, oh, do you need a hand with that? And they're like, looking me up and down, like kind of chuckling, yeah, no, and I got that when I was working at Kitty Town, which, uh, you know, I'd had to do, um, you know, heavy lifting strollers and car seats and furniture and stuff, I was a woman, so I'm all delicate, despite having three years of equipment handling experience, full health and safety training, and being able to lift 60 pounds dead weight, and I work out every day to maintain that strength. Honestly, I'm stronger than a lot of the guys I know, but... I'm female and I'm delicate and I, if I do any heavy lifting my arms are just gonna fall off honestly that's the way I'm treated it bugs the crap out of me so then there's that in the way too is I don't have the education I don't have the connections I don't have all these issues so I can only get shitty receptionist jobs girl jobs if you will <sighs> I think I've made my point enough thanks for watching